What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another Money of Toys video. Today, we are back with a lot of WWE action figure news, and we got a little AEW sprinkled in there. Kind of just a wrestling action figure news video for you guys today. And we have a lot of stuff to cover. I let a little bit of stuff build up. These probably could have been separate videos, but I figured we'd go ahead and punch them all into one. And I wasn't going to cover some of it. I was just going to let it go by and then maybe discuss it one day on the channel. But I figured, why not go ahead and make a video and cover all of this in its entirety and just see where you guys stand, see what you guys are thinking. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below but as we proceed man some of this stuff is pretty epic and you may want to break out your wallet because today is a big day so what i mean by that man is first of all today is the day that the coliseum collection series number two featuring rick rude and jake the snake roberts is actually going up for order it will be up for order on mctellcreations.com and it will be up for pre-order at 9 a.m pacific time 12 p.m eastern time i am central time so it'll be 11 a.m for me i do believe so i hope to god but coliseum Steam Collection Series 2 is going up. Excited to order this. I will be trying to get my hands on two of them. One for the men on card set, one for the loose set. We will see how that goes. I, I don't know what the standing is. Let me know down below if you guys are going to be grabbing it, but that is going up for pre-order today. Should be really fun. Can't wait to get that in hand, review it for you guys. I, I'm guessing that it's going to be shipping really soon after ordering it, and hopefully that will be the case. However, Coliseum Collection Series 2 is going up for order today. Now, let's dive into some images that we got over the past couple days. I was thinking it was like right after the weekend, or maybe it was Monday, it may have been Sunday or something like that. It may have even been Saturday, bro. I don't even remember at this juncture. I think it was Saturday. Last Saturday, WWE.com posted up a new Mattel action figure photo gallery over there. You guys know how they love to do so. And we got some new figures shown off now. Most of it is stuff that we've already seen, but we got new images of it, and I did want to cover it here, so let's go ahead and dive into it. First of all, we have a new Reckon Slam monster truck. I don't know if it's Reckon Slam monster truck, but it is a Reckon monster truck. It looks really cool. I actually like it a lot here. I don't know if this means we're going to get a monster truck on Monday Night Raw and they're going to destroy it and, you know, do all kinds of crazy stuff with it, but it looks cool enough. I think you can get some really cool playability out of it. It looks a bit weird when you look at the full entirety of it, like the like the hood and like the structure of the truck looks kind of, I feel like it needs to be a little bit bigger. However, you know, it is what it is. It comes with giant wheels that are removable. It's got some blow up parts. You guys can see you like hit it and it launches guys. It can explode. I mean, it's, it's a cool thing. You know, I, I guess they're kind of running out of ideas as far as, you know, you had like the forklift and you had the ambulance and you had the wrecking truck, but this is just another step. I'm trying to think of some other vehicles we can get. You can let me know down in the comments below. Outside of the obvious lowrider and things of that nature that we'd like to see for Eddie Guerrero or, you know, JBL's limo, something like that. But this is a decent little vehicle, and I can't wait to review it for you guys as well here on the channel. But outside of that, we also got a look at the upcoming SummerSlam Elite Wave Mr. Perfect Build-A-Figure. More on that in just a moment. But we did have the full look here. We have the Desert Storm Hogan figure. Love this bandana. I like the way this figure looks with the camo pants. I think that you could fix this guy up as some other people, but this is a really outside-the-box Hogan. It looks like they are using the Elite 96 Hogan head sculpt, and I actually like this figure. I like the oddity of it. I like the, the stuff that we're getting here. We get the Build-A-Figure arms for Mr. Perfect. Really solid Hogan here. I think this is going to be a Hogan that really stands out on the shelf, especially when you put all his gear on, but my favorite part is the bandana. I just love the American flag bandana and I think this is a pretty cool figure. We're going to continue to get Hogan's. I guarantee we'll probably get two more, probably three more showing off at WrestleMania Access that's coming up in a few weeks. I think it's just about a month away now, but Hulk Hogan's looking good. The packaging for this Elite Wave looks sick as hell too. This SummerSlam Elite packaging with all the bright colors and the neon looks really excellent. But moving on, we have my man Dolph Ziggler, bro. This figure looks incredible. This is absolutely going to be in my top 10 elites of the year. We got an updated Dolph with updated double joint arms and they finally ridded him of the gigantic AF arms that they used to give this man. Man used to look like, damn, I don't even know, bro. He was jacked as shish. Now they have him the updated arms. They look way more proportionate, way more accurate to Dolph Ziggler. Great looking head sculpt, and this is actually a gear that I wanted in figure form. We finally got it. I know we had my initial reaction at Hogan's Beach Shop Ringside Fest deal, but this looks incredible. What, what's a freaking perfect figure. Can't wait to review this one and get this one in hand. I will be buying 17 of these. A at least I'm going to try to. I hope this wave is easily attainable. I hope it's easy to get my hands on. I cannot wait to get this figure in hand, fix it up, do some different things, but Dolph Ziggler is looking immaculate. I like the ponytail head sculpt. We're going to do some fix-ups and stuff with it, no doubt, but I like this Dolph Ziggler a lot. We also have Jay Uso, who is looking incredible as well. I love this gear. I like this gear better than the regular black joggers. I 
I will be grabbing multiples of these as well to fix up the bloodline, put them all in the gear. I like that he's got the red stripes on the back. You have the red and white stuff going on, the white sleeve, beautiful looking J figure. I love this figure as well. I know that, like, I think they're continuing to get more tattoos. Jimmy and Jay Uso are both getting a lot of tattoos updated. Like, I think it was Jimmy or Jay the other day. They got, like, these palm trees on their rib cage or something like that. So the ultimate figures that we're going to be getting this year could possibly be outdated already before we even see them on display or anything. So that's kind of upsetting, but this J figure looks fantastic. And then rounding out the wave, we do have a new Zeus figure, and it's pretty cool. I wish that he had removable gauntlets like his Ultimate Edition. I think that would have been really cool, but I like the formula. He's jacked, great head sculpt. I like the shoulder pads that we're getting here. Very similar to the Ultimate Edition, but it's not quite as good as the Ultimate Edition, I don't think, you know. I still think it's very good, very cool figure, and anybody that missed out on that Ultimate and you want to pay a lower price for a similar figure, this is the way to go. Of course, you're not getting all those bells and whistles that the Ultimate packaging had and all those things, but this Zeus figure is still really cool, and I can't even believe, I still cannot grasp that we're getting him again, but they had to get reuse in here somewhere from that Ultimate, so I guess that's pretty cool to plug him in here. We may even get one more Zeus figure before it's all said and done, whether it's a Basic or an Elite, and so we have him here featured. And speaking of which, this is a Mr. Perfect build a figure wave. So we're going to be getting Mr. Perfect in his suit here, completely newly sculpted. We get a turtleneck torso. You get this overthrow jacket, double jointed arms, and these new build a figure legs that will be coming with Dolph Ziggler. And one interesting thing is Steve, action figures attack from Mattel. You guys know Steve. He is a beast. Steve Ozer. Gotta love Steve O. He actually went on the Turnbuckle Tavern and had an interview with those guys over there for their Fig Night podcast style deal. And he actually showed these figures off, and this figure, he didn't show this figure off, but he showed the Build-A-Figure pants parts. And this Build-A-Figure is actually going to have the drop-down hips that the Ultimate Editions are going to have moving forward. So the same drop-down hips that AJ Styles had, Razor Ramon had, Ultimate Warrior, Brock Lesnar, this Mr. Perfect Build-A-Figure legs. And I, I'm guessing these legs are probably going to be used moving forward. You guys know that they used to use those ugly-looking legs, like with the weird... Like, you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, at the hips, it looked like a damn Rubik's Cube, kind of. Like, it just looked like a crazy puzzle up there. Now, we have upper thigh cut. We get, like, nice ball joints here. And it is drop-down hips, which means that you get more articulation. It'll be easy to sit them in a chair. And not that the old figures were hard to sit in a chair, but aesthetically, they didn't look as good as these. So, I'm excited to see what these look like in hand. And he posed it around and showed off the drop-down hips. But this Mr. Perfect Build-A-Figure set is pretty sick. I actually like this a whole lot. Also shown off in this was the Top Talents Basic Wave. So, as this Basic Wave right here, I remember way back we said that, you know, the Top Talents Elites or the Top Talents Waves were leaked out. And remember, we said it on the channel. We did a news video on it. We said that Roman Reigns, Cody Rhodes, and Matt Riddle would be the top picks waves for this year and this was actually the basic wave don't worry we do have the actual elite wave announced that we'll cover in this video however we actually got to see the basic figures and it's pretty standard it's just a standard roman with the red gauntlet we have matt riddle and his evil knievel gear which looks pretty good and then we had cody and you guys will notice that the cody figure actually doesn't have the neck tattoo actually on his jaw and it looks a whole lot better it looks way more aesthetic Maybe they will actually bring this to his future elites, future ultimate stuff like that. Speaking of which, I just had a, a epiphany. They showed off the Cody Rhodes Ultimate prototype at the Hogan Beat Shop. I bet at Axis they're going to have the full figure on display. I can't wait for that. And hopefully that will be shipping soon. However, here's the Top Talents Basics. Nothing to write home about, but you know, these, these are going to be filling up shops if you guys are interested in getting these. The hair for Cody looks a little bit more yellow here compared to his Elite, but we do have the Top Talents Elites announced as well. And this year, the Top Talents Elite Waves is actually going to be The Rock, Jimmy Uso, and Roman Reigns. We knew this Jimmy Uso was going to be featured in the Top Talents Wave when we saw the J at Hogan's Beat Shop Ringside Fest, and he said it's going to be very similar to the J Uso that we just saw in the Build-A-Figure set with the Mr. Perfect and the SummerSlam Elites. It's going to be the opposite, obviously, though, with Jimmy. I'm sure he'll have probably a black sleeve. He'll have the same pants. He'll have probably the same head sculpt he had on his Elite 95 figure. We have Roman Reigns. I'm hoping that they differentiate the Roman Reigns a little bit more than the last like four or five Top Talents Romans. I don't want just the red gauntlet with everything going on. I'd like to see, you know, the white Acknowledge Me shirt, the white Head of the Table shirt 
with this figure. Maybe a new head sculpt. I'm not holding my breath on that. I bet they're probably going to put that three-pack Roman with the white Bloodline shirt and that head sculpt into this top picks wave. But a guy can pray and hope that they keep that three-pack pretty exclusive with the Bloodline shirt. And maybe they'll throw in an Acknowledge Me or a white head of the table shirt with this Roman with a new head sculpt. Doubt it's going to happen. I would imagine they're probably just going to plug in the Amazon three-pack Roman Reigns into this wave, but we will see. And then we have The Rock, and I swear to God in heaven, Brad, as long as this isn't the Elite 81 Rock or a repaint of that figure with a different shirt, I will be okay. If I see that Elite 81 Rock, I'm going to throw myself off a bridge. I'm obviously kidding, but that is that figure was so trash and way too small. I'm hoping that this rock right here is actually going to be the bigger torso, nicer. Similar to his last Top Talents rock that was pretty solid. Maybe it's going to be a redo of the Elite 100 rock. I'm not exactly sure what they're thinking here. We'll have to see about that, but hopefully it's a good rock figure. I just hope for a good rock figure. I feel like most of his elites lately have kind of been trash outside of maybe the last time we got the Top Picks wave. So we'll have to see about that, but we did have the Top Talents elites announced to us and also these are up for pre-order so use code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent go grab the elite top picks 23 wave 4 got the whole damn bloodline right here the, the freaking bloodline theme elite top picks wave which is pretty cool outside of that guys we also had a two-pack aew this kind of just dropped on us out of nowhere these got uplisted to amazon i already got my order and i think they are available right now this should be coming in later in the week we have aew unrivaled two-pack Britt baker and jade cargill now a lot of people are going to say well this Britt Baker is just a, a re-release, and you would be right. It would fit right on par with the rest of the AEW two-packs. Probably don't want to pay full price for it, but I did want to pay full price so I could get mine in hand. I'll probably buy a second pack when it drops on clearance or something like that, if it end, end up does. But this Britt Baker is just the unrivaled 10 Britt Baker. And then the Jay Cargill is a repaint of her Unmatched Series 4 figure. I actually like this figure a lot. I love the pink gear. That is Chef's Kiss. This TBS Championship, that is something we've been waiting on for a really, really long time. And I know the first thing you're going to say is, by God, it's ginormous. And you would be absolutely 100% correct in your assessment, Brad. This championship is massive. They have not adjusted it. Very unfortunate situation. I, I really don't know what to even say at this point, so I, I guess just it's the obvious, man. Lower, like shrink down these championships. It's way too damn big. It looks great aesthetically, and I love the Jade Cargill figure, and I love this repaint. The pink attire looks super fire. However, they got to shrink down this TBS championship, but I did want to get on here and talk about the AEW 2 pack. It looks very interesting. I'm actually intrigued to see it and, you know, get it in hand and all those different things, but we did have that announced. If you guys are interested in that, definitely go check it out on Amazon. AEW 2 pack, Britt Baker, and Jade Cargill. Now, this was pretty interesting. Apparently, this is a screen grab from Twitter, I do believe, and somebody was saying that they tried to return some WWE figures to Target or something like that. I don't know the complete situation. However, apparently, like, Target is no longer doing WWE action figure returns. So if you try to return the figure here, you guys can see on the receipt, it says, cannot be returned, WWE figure 499 there. And so I guess... They're no longer going to be doing returns, which I guess could counteract these people doing these fig swaps. Huge problem in my area, for, a love of, for the love of Jesus. Hasn't happened in the last year or so, but before that, man, it was like every freaking time I went to my Walmart, we would see some wild fig swaps. Hasn't happened in a minute, but apparently Target may be cracking down on WWE action figure returns, and that could limit the fig swaps, which would be great. I feel like I posted so many to my Instagram. I guess it's kind of a bittersweet thing, but I don't ever return figures ever once I purchase them. If I ever sell it, I just turn around and sell it or I trade it or something. I don't ever just return it to the store. So I guess that's something there. But apparently Target going to be cracking down on returning WWE figures. If you guys have an experience with that in the last couple weeks, let me know down in the comment section below. I thought that was interesting, but I wanted to let you guys know about it in case you guys were wondering. We also had a bunch of pre-orders go up. Not only did we have the top picks wave, guys, but we also had at least Series 102 go up for pre-order. I know the other day I said it was up for order. I was a dumb jackass. Don't listen to me. But now I can correct myself and say that it's up for order now. So if you guys are interested, go over and pre-order Elite Series 102. This set is pretty damn fire. I'd say it's pretty good. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% featuring Walter. I keep doing that, bro. It's not Walter anymore. It's Gunther I'm, or Gunther or whatever you want to say. I He's just Walter to me. I look at his face. He looks like Walter. You know what I mean? And he he's just a talent. But you have Walter, Edge, Sami Zayn, Commissioner Foley, 
Austin Theory and Rhea Ripley. Pretty damn good set. A lot of talent that is right now on television, featured prominently right now on WWE television. Every week you turn it on, you're probably going to see five out of these characters, and you get a flashback in there. So that's pretty cool. I, I like this wave. I can't wait to review it for you guys. You guys can see all the different images of the figures here. I think we got some great quality here, and I cannot wait to get into them. Probably going to see these on display at WrestleMania Access, I would imagine, which again is in five weeks. We'll probably see, you know, Elite 103 possibly as well, which the full wave is somewhere on the channel. I know we announced it, but we also had Ultimate Edition Series 17 go up for pre-order. This features Seth Rollins and Andre the Giant. The Seth Rollins is in the MDT theme gear. You know, it's got like the triangles and the different colors. Looking forward to that. Seth Rollins can't wait to see exactly what he looks like. Another figure we'll probably see on display at WrestleMania Axis and apparently... Coliseum Collection Series 3 is going to be announced very soon, as well as the new crowdfunder, and Steve doubled down on this on the Turnbuckle Tavern. He said that it is going to be expensive. It's going to be expensive, and to not be shocked by the sticker price. So that's, uh, I don't know how to feel about that, Brad. I'm trying to save up the wallet because I don't want to just get one of them. I'm going to have to at least get a few of them, and I don't know what the hell it is yet. And I'm excited to know what it is, but I'm also kind of anxious because I don't want to pay a million dollars, but at the same time, if it's too cool or it's too freaking badass i'm gonna have to drop that money bro and i'm gonna be getting probably three copies of the crowdfunder no matter what it is which makes me feel like an idiot but here i am but the andre the giant figure also looks pretty damn cool i'm excited for the for the ultimate edition series number 17 and then the last thing that's up for pre-order is going to be the showdown two packs which i haven't been a fan of since they've started this but it is going to be kofi and xavier the new day you have gunther and ricochet and then you have a throwback undertaker and batista all going to depend on head sculpts all going to depend on gear and deco and different things obviously these things just change over time so we're going to have to just monitor it on a figure by figure basis but all of those figures that i just talked about are up for pre-order so go over there to ringside collectibles use promo code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent when shopping over there now before we get out of here guys i do want to give a huge patreon shout out to my men over there becoming an extreme division member or more gets you a daily shout out in our videos moving forward and you get a name drop on your initial sign-up, so we do have Mark Stevenson, Corey Gorman, XX Grimjow XX26, WWE Figure Universe, Sean Presley, Almighty Figs, and Mont Sexton. Guys, thank you guys so very much for contributing to the Patreon page. Lots of benefits, guys, if you guys are interested in becoming a patron of the MDT channel. Definitely check out the link in the description below. Lots of perks over there, different things you can get in on. And if you are a member of the Extreme Division, not only are you shouted out daily in our videos, but you also are entered into the figure giveaway every month. Month, and this month we are starting off our Patreon hot with the 1 of 5,000 Chase Darby Allen Unmatched Series 1 figure that you can get. It is mint on card. Go over there, sign up. Your name automatically goes into the drawing, which we'll be doing later on in the month of March. So definitely check that out. But I appreciate you guys so very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on all of this news down in the comment section below. But I am getting out of here, I do believe. So leave me all your thoughts on this stuff down in the comment section below. Love you guys so much. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Check out the Patreon and merch below. We have merch over on ProWrestlingTees.com. You guys are interested in copping a shirt. Definitely go check it out. I'd greatly appreciate it. I'm Get out of here, man. See you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time.